Good morning, beautiful souls. Happy Friday to you. It's January the 15th, 2021. I hope you're all keeping well. So let's dive into the lovely unicorn cards. Let's see what messages they have for you on this lovely day. So can we have a message, please, unicorns, for 15th of January, 21? Oh, this one's popped out. Nature. Oh, lovely some nature, getting outside, breathing some fresh air, grounding yourself when you're sitting comfortably, closing your eyes, taking some deep breaths in, hold. So take a deep breath in for about four or five seconds, hold for four or five, but then the outer breath needs to be longer than the in breath. And do that three to five times and then you'll really feel yourself relax as you've got your feet touching the floor firmly, imagine that you're like a tree and your roots are going down out of your feet, down, down, deep into the earth, towards the earth core, where anything that's been causing anything negative within yourself can flow down there, be wrapped around and dispersed by the earth's core and bringing up beautiful, silver and gold light back up 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 through your roots up through your feet up your legs your knees your thighs up your body all the way up to your head and down to your hands so yeah if you want to practice that one that's quite a nice just nice easy meditation and just let any thoughts that come into your head, acknowledge them and then let them drift off and then um, think about them later once you've done your grounding. So yes, find a sanctuary um, in nature and connect with the elements. So, you know, take in what's around you, the sounds, the sights, the smells. Is there any water that's running around? Is there a little spring that you can just hear the trickle of the water? over some rocks or pebbles that's always quite nice and the trees the way that they sort of sway in the wind letting in some of the sunlight in and or keeping you shaded and protecting the ground and protecting the birds that are nesting in the trees so really connecting with nature i can just feel it being outside now and i'm quite fortunate that i live quite near to some woods you know, a forest quite it's quite vast so it has loads of little trails that you can go down and just enjoy the peace and tranquility even on wintry days so moving on let's see what message we have from the angelic tarot let's see what they want us to know on friday the 15th of january 21 what message do you have for us please give us a sign Okay, that one's popped out. Okay, so we have got the Eight of Water or Eight of Cups as it's formerly known. A lovely abundance number, a lovely abundance to have really good emotions with. But it's also saying a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, some spiritual and emotional growth. Okay, all the cups are up, there's nothing broken there. So your cups are all full with some love and light and going through the flow of life itself, moving on to new things. That can be quite emotional in itself, isn't it? Sometimes you ask, are you doing the right thing? Well, the right thing will always come to you. And if it works out, it's not the right thing, then it's a lesson learned, isn't it? So, And then it's you understanding what you do and what you don't want in life. But let's focus on hopefully you're going to get all the things that you wish for and connecting with that spiritual side of you connecting with who you really are what other label do you have apart from maybe mom or dad or brother sister daughter son whatever it may be there's a new there's a new you that's going to emerge and evolve on your journey and so this is a great time to start really thinking about all the things that you want to come to you. As I say, the number eight is about the abundance, the abundance of love, hope, faith, happiness, friendships, new partnerships. So it's all good. The cards are all good. So let's have a look at the daily teachings. So today is 
Beginning to ask questions about life is a sign that you are having a major break breakthrough. So maybe that's where you're asking in this card about new things to move on to, you knowing that you don't want to stay in the same place, you don't want to be stagnant, that you need to move with the flow. So the truth of life is right here for everybody, as it has always been, but only the ones who ask questions receive the answers and discover the truth. When we ask questions deeply, wanting to know the answers, we will attract the answers in a form that we can understand. To receive answers in life, you must begin to ask, okay? Ask where, where you want to be, even if you're asking where you want to be in a year or five years' time, etc. If you're asking, are you really on the right path? Is everything that you've got in and among you, around you, is it truly making you happy? Because if it's not, now's the time to start planting the seed and getting yourself into that change, into that momentum of moving on. And yes, it can be emotional, but the emotion is a form of motion. So we do have to sometimes go through some things to know that we are going to end up on the right path, on the right journey at the right time. I hope that makes sense for you. So we move on to the card of today where you can maybe write some thoughts down about whatever it, this word is. Sorry, the word of the day. Okay, so we've got obedience. Okay, so this is like, a, oh, it's an angel riding a bike and getting to some traffic lights. <laughs> okay, so do you stop on orange or do you keep going? Are you a little, should I say a little devil when it comes to, are you obedient? Do you play by the rules? Do you like to mix things up? So that's that word. Is there anything that you've been disobedient about lately that you've challenged because something that may be put in place that's not making you happy you decide that your happiness is more important okay just the thought out there obedience that's the word love it okay all right my lovelies um beautiful souls i hope you've enjoyed the messages today and enjoy the rest of your friday whatever it is that you may be doing hope you're going to get to go outside i'm going to attempt to do some cooking i bought some ingredients so that's what i'm going to do today so with that being said i will see you tomorrow have some peace love namaste bye for now